top of the morning to you ladies and gentlemen out there it is um 20 minutes after five so we are fixing to uh not a lot of time to lollygag around i guess is what i'm saying but we're still in kentucky we've got an illinois tag that starts today but i just didn't figure there was any sense in driving over to illinois since we still had kentucky tags and we had some turkeys we had dealt with had treated us wrongly and um the attraction of tough turkeys kind of won the battle and uh we're still in kentucky we're gonna climb this mountain up here i did come in here yesterday evening i did not get the camera out of the truck because i got out of the truck out had a turkey gobble away down the road and kind of not panicked but freaked out and took off down the road <clears throat> to try to get a good pin on them because can't even tell how many times an evening turkey's gonna gobble, so I wanted to get in good position to try to get a good solid pin on him, and think I did. <clears throat> Very similar spot to where we were at yesterday morning, where we were close but no cigar. So, anyways, this morning we're gonna climb up and be there before it breaks. So, or that's the plan, anyways. It's 20 after five. I think they'll probably gobble in about 25, 30 minutes, um, and that's about how long it's gonna take us to get in there. So. We're not exactly running ahead of schedule, but we're we're not bad. Um, pretty cool morning. Uh, we're going to uh, be taking part in a little mossy oak project. Um, going to be wearing a different vest this morning. Going to be wearing the, uh, the Mr. Fox vest. They're passing this thing around to some folks throughout the season. Uh, kind of the prototype for the Mr. Fox uh, mossy oak vest. And... Uh, yeah we're wearing it this morning so i got everything transferred over to it and we'll see if we can't uh put it in front of a turkey we're gonna have it around turkeys i can promise you that because uh well we've been around turkeys the last few days so we're gonna put the mr fox vest on we're gonna climb the mountain and we're gonna show it a good time through the hardwoods of kentucky so uh hope it's ready because we're looking at a at a full day we're gonna we're gonna try to uh do our best to put this thing behind one so so essentially what we have this morning is I heard this turkey up on the top of this mountain or about three quarters way up this mountain last yesterday evening so we got us a like a rock ravine or rock drain that comes off the side of the mountain we're fixing to try to sneak up that rock ravine I think that's gonna put us about a hundred yards from the turkey once we get to the bench that he's on so it's gonna be just nickel and diamond our way up this thing trying to make as little noise as possible and using as little light as possible so next thing you guys will probably see will be daylight or at least the song birds chirping and that kind of thing so here we go
too far to the left or not, but he landed right there. And we're gonna get to pet him in a Mr. Fox vest. Thank you, Jesus. Y'all come with me. Let's go pet one of these Kentucky turkeys that's been giving us fits. Heard him gobbling here yesterday evening. Got a head start on him this morning in the dark. And that joker pitched and landed 30 yards. Oh, he's going down the mountain. Oh, oh. Come here. Mr. Fox, it was a pleasure carrying your vest in the woods for a moment. Thank you, Lord. He's got big old hook spurs too, Lord of mercy. It's been a privilege to even be considered to wear the vest. An absolute privilege. And it was an honor to walk up into this I mean, into this. I mean, just the biggest rock covered, rugged, vertical. I was sitting, well, you can see the camera in the vest right there. Right at the base of a big rock wall. He was rooted right here and he come out and landed right there. There's fortunate men. There's lucky men. And then there's me. Thank you, buddy. I love these things. Turn my life upside down to chase them. When I draw it up in my head and the places I like to do it is everywhere honestly but if I had to pick one it's in the rocks it's in the vertical hardwoods these benches this particular piece of dirt the benches aren't so flat and wide and pristine they're more as you can tell we're on a pretty good vertical right now where he called home though. Hmm. Let me go get the real camera in case this joker right here ain't doing with the flip. I can't ever tell about these GoPros. It may just chew the footage up and swallow it never to be seen again so let me go get the one that I can trust a little bit more not a lot but a little bit more I don't know if it got on camera but I'll be honest 
I brought my gun with the barrel camera on it with my finger crossed that it would work and I made sure I had all five GoPro batteries charged this morning because today considering I was given the opportunity to wear the Mr. Vox vest we were coming in here mad at them today mad we was coming in here to try to put our hands on one today we love them and we appreciate them but we was gonna hunt them hard today not that we don't hunt them hard every day but today I made sure that I just this thing right here wasn't gonna get in the way today so this is what I'm saying I made sure I had the other little cameras charged up but as it turns out I don't know if we got it on this but we didn't have to use them and I even got me a little caffeine drink in this vest because I was like when we go up there today when it when that little roost excitement enthusiasm kind of fades and uh, you get to that nine o'clock want to take a nap I had me an energy drink I was gonna I was gonna drink the poison and we was gonna hit them we was gonna, we was gonna walk every mountain in this place today if we had to but it's 648 he told us that we didn't have to when he pitched down about 30 put that old head up like hmm that's a funny looking lump on the side of that log oh that lump had TSS what a turkey what a hunt what a place just Get this camera off me. I'll quit looking at my ugly mug and we'll fix it on the turkey. Man of the hour. Big old headed rascal. He done been gobbling about five million times. Look at that joker. Big old swole up here. Pretty beard. There's any rocks and they're around it, but you can tell they're hooked. Hooked, spurred, mountain turkey. On April the 28th. Like I said earlier. lucky men, there's fortunate men, and then there's me. I get to chase these things probably as much as anybody out there. And I get to bob and weave and go to the places that I love most. Built a reputation as a turkey hunter. And that's all I've ever wanted to be. So I guess it works out. miles these wings have been drug in these mountains over the last several springs. I'm gonna walk in here and take him off of it like I'm Days I'm beginning to wonder if I remembered how to do this. This turkey's been putting it to us. Me and Walt, Josh, have walked up in here last two mornings and came out without nothing. And the turkey's been gobbling. And I 
just realized something. <laughs> right here is where he saw us yesterday. Right here. There's the tree I started to crawl to. There's the log that Josh started to crawl up behind. There's the tree we were sitting up against. It's probably about 30 yards. And right there's the big rock that he come up under and saw us. I'd be dang. <laughs> Sorry, Josh. I'm secretly glad he saw us yesterday. Just am. Typically, I don't know, I sit up against a tree and get everything arranged and get the camera not sitting crooked as I'll get out like it is right now, but I'm thinking right now, I'm going to leave him in my lap and I'm going to, I'm fixing to smoke my cigar right where I sit. I don't feel like getting up. It's just, it's how it's going to be. This one's going to go in the memory bank way up at the top. And we've walked around this stuff for the last two days and just talked about the beauty and the just the remoteness and the just... Like these turkeys, like this turkey. He don't know what a field is. He don't know what a pasture is. He lives his whole life in these flipping big old hollers and creek drains and he don't know what a food plot is probably feel out of place in a cow pasture he lives in this big hardwood timber it's a heck of a place to heck of a place to find Hey, we appreciate you guys joining us for this video. If you like this one, you'll probably like the next one. I'll leave it up here in the corner. Don't forget to subscribe and follow along with us. We'll leave our social media links down in the description below. That's also where you'll be able to find links on the turkey calls we use and the apparel we wear and that kind of stuff. So you can find that in that little drop-down description below. And uh, as always, we sure appreciate you guys following along.